it's only a little over 50 years ago that we first sent a planetary probe into space to move from just myth and fable to actually observation and measurements. So we now have evidence with uh, other measurements showing that there is water flowing on the surface of Mars. We know that it was the environment at one point in time on Mars was able to support microbial life. But you look at the Mars today, it's cold, it's dry, and we want to know what happened. Something clearly happened. Water was abundant on early Mars. The environment was something that was capable of supporting liquid water. Yet today we see a cold, dry planet that is not able to support water. What we want to do is to understand what are the reasons for that change in the climate. We are looking at coordination between the different spacecraft. The reason we need to do that, the reason we want to do that, is that Mars is actually a very complicated system. We've gone beyond the ability to look at one part of the planet and understand everything there is to know about it. The atmosphere connects to the upper atmosphere and to the, the solar wind and loss to space. It connects to the surface, the polar caps, the deep interior. So we need to understand all parts of it, and that requires uh, comparing observations from different spacecraft.